In this report, we will introduce to you Jos Wouters and his wife Maria from Langdorp, Belgium. They race under the name of Wouters Kordemans. In this film, we will show you several arrivals of the pigeons from short and middle distance races. Because we are right in the middle of the season, it means a rush hour for bird and fancier. In Belgium, you can enter your pigeons for four or five flights the same day. Jos and Maria are racing young birds, yearlings and old birds today. With short and middle distance races, when every second counts, it will be hard work today, because Wouters Kordemans have a very large accommodation. The lofts are situated all over their land. First thing in the morning, Jos is making his round along the lofts, and Maria is walking the dogs. After this is finished, it is time to listen to the liberation times on the Belgium radio. Goedzicht, zwakke noordoostenwind vanaf 7 uur 30 hoog. Clermont 707, zeer mooi weer bij een zeer goed zicht. En de wind stil, zoals in Clermont vanaf 7 uur. In Halle vanaf 8 uur. Gerard Bergen, Vartoren 7, zeer mooi weer, zeer goed zicht. Er staat een zwakke noordoostenwind. Kierveil, Malvacht, mooi weer, goed zicht. Wind stil, nog een kleurvaar vanaf 8 uur. Jos, we heard a lot of information. What did you do with it? To avoid any uncertainty, I write down everything about all aberration times. I note down the weather situation and the wind direction and strength. With this information, I can make a pretty good guess of the arrival times from the various flights. Every weekend we have a few of these races. My experience through the years is, write things down so there cannot be an unpleasant surprise. Today, we fly with old and young birds from Crivain, we also have old and young birds from Noyon and Soissons. And because yesterday's race from Toos was moved forward to today, we will also see the arrival of these birds. What do you expect? The weather is excellent. So I hope my birds will be too. Het weer is reuze. Laat ons hopen dat de rest een beetje naar van hand is. Then we can expect some fireworks. Yes, but when you expect a lot, you can fall deep. Wait and see. As you can hear, Jos Wouters has always been modest, and that is a compliment for a big champion like he is. This is one of the two widower's lofts. They have the typical Belgian style openings. These are the young birds' lofts. Wout Scordemans still uses Sputniks instead of super traps. Maybe that's not too efficient. Because every second is important, they have stretched a wire on top of every loft so the birds cannot land on the roofs. It is time to put the hens into the nest boxes. One last quick question. Jos, how do you feed the widower's hens? At the end of the week they get plenty of feed. In the beginning of the week they get less and of a very light mixture. A good widower's hen is half a widower. That's why I feed them up to the end of the week. From this place to the widower's lofts is a long walk.
Jos, why don't you have openings in the nest boxes front? Openings like these are mean to let the cocks that have just arrived join their hands as fast as possible. With this system, the hands cannot escape. Just open the front and let the pigeon in. When you have time, we'll put the front forward and put some water in front of it. That's all. Jos uses claystone fountains, which have an advantage in a warm summer like this one. We put some straw in the widow's loft. For me, that's very important. I believe that the dust floating around in the loft will get into the straw in time, and so it cannot float through the lofts anymore. On the other hand, the pigeons like it too. They like to lie in it and take it into the nest boxes. I believe that may motivate them too. The widowers of Wouter Scordemans get one spoon of feed in their box after they have arrived. This feed has been prepared in a special way the evening before. What is special is the red maize that is added to the mixture. This maize is full of sugar, which is very important for the pigeon's recuperation. These are the ingredients we add to the mixture, the mixture we give when the widowers have to come home. We solve brewer yeast and brown sugar in the water. It makes it sticky, so it will stay on the feet. The red maize we grow ourselves. Our maize is somewhat dark brown in color. Our experience is that this maize contains more sugar than the yellow maize does. Can you show us how you prepare it? First, the brown sugar, which is very sticky. And then we add two kinds of brewer yeast. And then we put in the water. But we'll first mix it well. We then mix in the pulp with the feed. After all this, it has to dry for one night. When it's dry, it's okay. The birds like to eat it. Besides this feed, do you withers get extras? We try to give them everything they like, some trapping mix, some peanuts, and also some cheese. They love it. They might even need it, because the cheese contains animal fats. Everyone 
everything is ready. Are you? Yes, I think so. The hens are waiting in the nest boxes. There is feed. The windows are open, so they can come home. Okay, I'm a little nervous. First we warm up with a race from Cleveland. For this race, we have entered six experienced widowers. The sky is very clear, but when there's no pigeon falling down from it, then it's no good either. For a short distance race like Crivrain, every second is important. Yes, every second does count, but it has happened before that although a pigeon kept flying for half a minute or more, I still won first prize. But today that will be impossible. What else can we expect today? First, I think the old birds from Nayon will arrive. But it will be a matter of minutes between the old birds from Nayon and the young birds from Crivrain. And Soissons is only three miles further, so the pigeons from these races can all come home at the same time. Anything can happen.
So, we have seen a great deal of panic, right? Yes, more or less. I expected the young birds from Quivain first, but the old birds from New York came in first. I think that's okay. They did arrive at the time I expected them to. I think they have done very well. The birds from Soissons arrived practically all together. I have to say that my finest pigeons were in this group. In this group are my best middle distance pigeons that will have to go to the race from Bourges later this year. There was a lot of panic, but all in all we have done very well. Can you show us some top birds? This is my 768. He was born in the summer. I raced him three times as a young bird and he won three minor positions. Last year he won three first prizes and this year he won two first prizes. When the weather is good, when the wind is blowing from the north or from the south or in bad weather, he's always there. He descends from my old strain. It's a mix of pigeons from Sylvain de Hond from Semmerzaken and pigeons from Gomerverbrugge from Karavin. Yes, you could say good and beautiful go together. The widows are all home now. That's why all the birds can go into the aviary. These are my stock birds. In the right hand part you see some substitute stock hens and some widower's hens from widowers that were lost. In the aviary are also some hens that are supposed to raise in the late summer races. So there are quite a lot of birds there. In the breeding loft we'll find the birds which have performed very, very well. But also pigeons that are built according to my standards. And believe me, I'm very critical. To win a place in my breeding loft, they must have performed very well. And they need a strong bone structure, of course. They have to be soft feathered. And they have to have the good eye signs. That is what shows their character. A weak bird I won't use for breeding, even if it had won many minor positions. At this moment I have several birds in my breeding loft that are from together breeding with other top ventures. Jos, show us a stock bird and tell us your opinion. I think this bird is of a high standard. It has an extraordinary bone structure. A lot of feathers, very fine ones. The eye is splendid. This pigeon I exchanged with a venture who also owns pigeons from the hond. He has been very successful over the years. I play the traditional widowhood. I show the hens almost every time before I box my pigeons. And of course, the hen is waiting in the box when the cock is coming home from a race. At the start of the season, when we still have short distance races, they stay together for half an hour. But now, in the middle of July, they may stay together for an hour to one hour and a half, and sometimes even longer. What is Maria's function in the partnership? Yes, where does it start and where does it end? It means cleaning the lofts, giving water and giving them feed. Without her it would be impossible for me to race at such a high level because I have to work in the factory every day. Then she has to do everything on her own. When I'm at home, we work together. But I'm at ease, she does very well.
At first the roof was very flat. Through the years I found out that the atmosphere in the loft wasn't perfect. So what did I do? I changed the roof and made it higher. So the dirty air can get out more easily. Here I made an opening for the ventilation. In summer it is completely open and in spring it's closed. Then we also use the floor heating. We use it to improve their form. What bird do we have here? This is the O37. It's a hen with a fantastic record. She won 12 first prizes. I cannot say it was always against a large number of pigeons, but still, 12 first prizes is not bad. Once she won first prize with a six minutes lead against a cold northeast headwind. Six minutes on a race of only 60 miles, that's something special. Her bloodlines go back to the year 1963, when we started. Those were the pitches from Van Els from Heinen and Van der Broeke from Grobbedon. We have had these bloodlines since 1963. We kept them pure in the family. That's why I think she's so white. And so this day at the Wouters Kordermans loft has come to an end. Jos Wouters and Maria Kordermans, a golden couple, a true jewel in pigeon racing. <laughs>